Just imagine how it must feel. One minute, yeah, the very king of all you survey at the top of the tree. The next minute, <laughs> nothing. Because that's exactly how it must have felt for the Yamaha YZF Thunder Ace. One minute, the nuts of the mutt. The next minute, well, Yamaha would go and introduce the R1 and suddenly, you're invisible. With a 1,000cc engine, it's very much the bigger brother to its smaller sibling, the Thundercat, a 600cc bike. And just like its little brother, it's very much more than an also ran to newer, faster bikes. It is very much more a sports tourer nowadays, but that's not so much a reflection on any way the bikes changed. When it was introduced, it was damn fast. It still is today. It's just that the market's moved on. But that isn't all bad news. For a start, the riding position is a lot less knees jammed under your chin and ass in the air extreme than the R1. You also get a lot more bike for your money. Five grand and easily buy this S-plated model with, what, seven and a half thousand miles on the clock. Which, apart from these rather gaudy My Little Pony details added onto the top yoke and the clock surrounds, which would have to go in the bin, is good to go. You've got to ask yourself, do you really need to be seen on this year's bike, in this year's colours, in your matching leathers? And do you really need the performance of this year's latest hot-to-trot track day missile? If you do, cool, because for many of us, that's exactly what biking's about. But if you don't, and you're prepared to compromise a bit of that performance for a bit of comfort, and some of those admiring glances for saving a few quid, then you could do a lot worse than look at the Yamaha Thunderings. <laughs> 